Have you ever had a sexual fantasy about Old St. Nick? You, my friend, are not alone. Hi, my name is Thomas, and I'm a sex researcher. And believe it or not, I'm also a mental health professional who didn't even have to buy this costume to make this video. Santaphilia, or the unhealthy obsession with Santa Claus that can be sexual, is a real thing. And it's more than just someone with a vagina dressing up to look like sexy Mrs. Claus. In fact, there are thousands of porn videos depicting Saint Nick in sexual situations. What I was actually hoping for but I didn't find was like a spin-off of Bait Bus, like Bait Slay. So think about it, there's someone blindfolded thinking they're gonna have sex with Santa Claus but then it ends up being one of those like freaky little elves. Um, or someone dressed up like Rudolph. Do you, okay, hear me out. Do you remember when you were a kid and you would put a flashlight in your mouth and it would make your cheeks glow and you thought you could see through them? What if Rudolph used his nose to penetrate people and then lit them up like a uh, like a light bulb like a like a light bulb you know what this is off topic i'm going to come back to it but i want you to think about it bait slay copyrighted bait slay in an article for vice dr justin lay miller describes what could be the roots of this sexual fetish using psychology he ties it back to being kids and being told that we're constantly being watched, building in some voyeurism, and of course being told that we're either naughty or nice. Now, colloquially, naughty has been adapted in a sexual way much later than after St. Nick came into the picture, but, you know, it could still be arousing. And on Reddit, there's a whole thread of guys talking about how they dress up as Santa Claus, go to malls, go to stores, and that older women always come sit on their laps and say dirty things into their ears. For example, someone is quoted as saying, I can't wait for you to come down my chimney, and I'm going to feed you more than just cookies. And a few gay men even commented that they get it. Santa's sort of like a bear would be part of that community and specifically a polar bear. Uh, apparently the bear community is so diverse these days that there are even subpopulations. Look, I don't think I've ever thought about Santa sexually, but like I get it. He's a happy guy, always laughing, probably pretty easy to please, and constantly doing things for other people. Sure, he probably always has cookie crumbs and sprinkles in his beard, but worse guys get laid. You've probably had sex with worse guys that have had worse tasting things in their facial hair. If you have a Santa fetish, it's probably not negatively impacting your life in too many ways. So play it out, have a good time, rock that claws around the Christmas tree. I'll see you next time. Hey guys, thanks for watching. I've got a lot of content in production and I do not want you to miss out. So make sure to hit that subscribe button. And in the meantime, send me your questions about sex to thomastalksabout at gmail.com. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram. Every Tuesday night at 8 p.m. Eastern, I do Tuesday Night Therapy Talk Live, where I cover a different topic in psychology and talk with people across the country about anxiety, depression, sex, relationships, sex toys, PTSD, all that stuff. So make sure to follow me there so you don't miss out on any of that. And while you're waiting, check out some of these other videos that I've worked really hard on.